G'day kids! Today we're going to learn how to convert a DVD video disc to upconvert it to a 4K video. This video has been sponsored by DigiArtsy Video Proc Converter AI and if you would like to buy one of these you can go to their website there'll be a link in the description of this video where you can order the software convert DVDs to upscale them to 4K. Alright so I got this DVD this is just a DVD minus R that I probably burnt this back in like 2004 or something like that and getting a little bit old so you want to back these things up of home videos so I'm just going to take this here put it into the drive so you'll get the software video proc converter AI and load that up now so I've installed video proc converter AI and here are the features that are the most killer App part of this uh, software. The super resolution is what you'd want to use for like converting MP4 files and up converting them to 4K, even if you have HD files. You got your frame interpo interpolation, which will increase the frame rate of a video. And you got stabilization, which will crop the video a little bit, but it'll kind of clean up the picture. You got a video converter to convert uh, files from different formats uh, so that it might be better for editing or just for uploading. And you got a recorder and the DVD. Now this video is focused on the DVD part of this, so we're just going to go on that. And this is the DVD in the drive. So I just want to so to get to your DVD, if you if you have your DVD, just click on this circle plus thing here, and uh, it will auto detect. Um, so it's it's basically just leave these default settings here it should work and it's analyzing the disk and it's found all the chapters and everything in the disk here this being an older disk an older standard definition disk it's got four or three aspect ratio one thing you want to use is make sure you click the de interlacing button that will clean up your video and it will give you your target format so if you want to target it to h.264 or if you want to target it to uh, or, or Hevec and there's several other um, formats that you can uh, output your video to if you're just basically going to upload it straight to YouTube or to Facebook or some social media. If you're wondering what with all these settings it's, it's confusing, just leave it at this MP4 H.264. This is the most common format. If you're going to upload it to a social media, pretty much everything will receive that format. Okay, one thing before you select all your items, you might want to go in here and edit your video. So a nice feature that this software has, if you're taking your DVD and I'm just going to hit play here and get it going here. All right. So I got this video um, in the background here. What this can do is you have your video here and your preview. So you can, you can do different effects. You can make a grayscale, like make it black and white. Uh, you can do a negative effect so, or give it a technicolor effect or give it a blur effect but we're trying to make it more clear so i'm just going to go with none but if you want to use any easy effects you can uh, you can add subtitles uh, you can cut and crop so i'm actually going to say for example if you just want to use like a certain part of your video you just want to take a snippet out of a dvd you can do that too by just moving these green these green uh, things over here. So if you want to crop your video so that your it, it looks more like a modern TV, you'd be cutting the top and bottom off here, which works better than stretching it. So I would go to the so I'd go to sixteen nine resolution, which is what most TVs have today. And what you can do here is you can you can main, move your crop. I guess I have to actually play this while it's doing. It. So I'm just gonna keep this going here. So you can see how the crop is going up and down. So if you want to fix your crop for, for it to look to view this on a standard definition TV with the zoom, this may be a long pro process, but if you want to uh, go through that, or if you don't want to crop it at all, you can just leave it at, uh, at its uh, original uh, setting. But I actually like to have my uh, 69 and crop it. You can also add a watermark. I would probably pretty much just do this in the editing process, but if you just want to just do a video and just have your website on there. So here we go. We can put like the watermark anywhere on, on there, change the fonts, whatever, to whatever you want. 
and then you can have that on on your video so the main thing is you're going to want to convert your video from a dvd to a h.264 file so it's going to actually do that first before you actually get a chance to up convert it so we're going to do that now so i hear the dvd burner playing in the background and taking the footage off of the disc and this will take a few minutes because this is only a short video now a longer video this may take time depending on how long your video is and then when the software has converted the file for your off your dvd it will just pop up the folder of the video that you'd like to view so i'm just going to open it with vlc just to show you where it is so there's the video in the background and it's been cropped <laughs> it says my website on it mywebsite.com if you want to add a watermark okay so if you want to up convert that you just simply just click off this thing here and go to super resolution and with a super resolution you just take that file off this folder here and just drag it right into the circle here it will load it up so i'm going to do a four time up convert i'm going to leave the frame rate at 30. but i'll show you the resolution changer so here's the upscale resolution here's the original 640 by 400 because i did crop it so it made the video a little shorter but you can see the color here when i bring this over it just sort of brings up the uh resolution just a uh just a bit So here's what it originally looks like, and here it is when it's sharpened up a bit. You can definitely see the uh, characters in the background where there's like this bug, this uh, these cartoon characters, and how they're out of focus and they kind of pop out a little bit better in the background. So from here, you just hit click the run and you would uh, uh, you would up convert your video, your DVD, and you'll have a file that is up converted from basically 600 by 400 or 700, whatever your standard definition res resolution is to 2560. So when you're ready to output your video, make sure you got it set to deinterlacing, set the quality you want and the amount of frame rate you want, you just select right here. And you just simply click run and it'll export the file and up convert it. I'm just doing a short clip here. Now on my system, it's a little bit of an older computer, so it will do about 6.5 frames per second. All right, the video transcoded, so. So here is the upconverted 4K version of the video. It's been enhanced. So you'll see it definitely bring the color out and make uh, the color pop out. And it will help remove some of the pixelation from the older video because like if you really look at some of the back when things were 600 uh, by 720 um, there was a lot of pixelation when you watch that on a modern day uh, 4k screen 